All right, welcome to another exciting episode of Calm Strategy Webinar. Now, CAMS is an abbreviation, it's, it's abbreviated word for the C stands for content, the A stands for ads, the, the M stands for marketing, and the S stands for sales. So the essence of this webinar is that we are going to we are going to be passing our information to the people that are watching online and our studio audience how to use the CAM strategy, the content, advertisement, marketing, and sales to drive their business, to grow their audience. So we have lovely people in the studio with me, our audience, studio audience. Put your hands together for yourself. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And for you online, you are our VIP. Now, the, uh, as I told you, the whole idea of CAMS is just for value. So we are bringing this thing to you for free. For free. These are the things that you pay thousands of naira for to get. But CAMS Strategy Webinar is put together, sponsorship of Ficos Life, Eden Lounge, Picture Bank, Inemi Couture, and a host of others. And we've been supported by women in Port Harcourt, Port Harcourt to the world, Believe all and a host of other. There's a lot of support. And Believe All uh, uh, and uh, uh, Bless Intography is also here. So shout out to everybody that makes sh that, that is making sure that this webinar is a success. And trust me, if your friends, your business partner are not watching this right now, please drop everything you are doing. Share this link with them for them to watch. Because something that is coming to you today is massive. Put your hands together for yourself once more. So on today's episode, on today's episode, our we have some uh, some special people. Here. I'm going to read this because there's something I wrote about them. If I'm trying, if I if I say let me be reading, if I say let me be taking, let me taking it from my head, I might miss some important details. So I'm going to be reading from my listing. So the first person is our lady here. Please take the camera to her. A beautiful lady, our special one of our special discussants. We have three special discussants, the three of them. So she's she's a brand influencer, especially the women in this city. The engagement on our platform is massive. Now, if you want to reach women online and the women that are, we want to reach are in Port Harcourt, and your content is not on our on our platform, I don't know what is the problem. Because if your content is not on our platform and your target is women. He's not able to go and pay sponsored ad first. He at least her first. Pay her first. Are you with me? So it's a brand influencer, women in Port Harcourt. Put your hands together for her. <laughs> I actually bring these people together because I need people that have results. I don't want someone that have gone to school to read and come and pour what he has read. It's very easy to do that. I can cram everything and come and tell you people, and I'll be very, I'll be very fluent with it. But I want people that have done something and verifiable. So. Women in Port Harcourt is here to speak on us on influential marketing and paid ads. So the second person on our list is Believe All. He's the founder of Believe All. I call him Mr. Chidera or Tony. Now, if you want your event to trend, this is the man that you go to. Any event you are doing this time, and he wants you to trend on Twitter, this is the man. He grew his brand from zero to close to 20,000. Massive engagement on, on his Twitter handle. So he's here also to talk to her about influential marketing and paid ads. And the last but not the least, our Oga, the, <laughs> the woman's man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. He's, he's still single. He's still single. Very single. I told him that you might say no. He says he's still single and he's searching. <laughs> okay, he's not searching. So, uh, Potako to the world. Now, this is the only guy that is planning to, to create a, a, what I call it, five-kilometer walkway, a, 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 a fashion show. That is, that is the only person that have done that five, that have done the largest runway, the largest runway in the whole world, I think it's in China. This is the only person that is attempting to do it. I think he's going to do it this year. That one will do it this year. They're going to do it. So he's going to attempt. So he's going to be the largest wrong way in Port Harcourt. And the most important thing about this young man is this. He is the only one that is that is trying to rewrite the story of Port Harcourt. What I mean is that whatever content is, is shining out to the world is basically 
to drive the Kotakot brand. What I mean is that the good image that people, the bad image that people see outside is trying to make sure that Kotakot name goes out properly. So put your hands together for Mr. Good Luck. Okay, as, 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 as Zoom, uh, pardon, pardon my mistake, but as, as Zoom, as Zoom, win, as Zoom, as Zoom winner. I'm not a reverse man, pardon me. So, so enough of the talk, please. Not of the talk. I'm not I'm not this, I'm not the, I'm not the person that the, all of you are here for. You're here for these three people. So we are gonna the sell this first, Abby. So we are gonna give the mic to our women in Port Harcourt CEO. Put your hands together for her. Okay. Hello everyone. Good morning. Um you're all welcome, those in the studio and those watching online. Uh, my name is Wendy Prince Amadi. Okay, I'll just give a little introduction about myself. Um, I studied international law and diplomacy from Babcock University, and I have a working experience as a human resource officer with Nigeria LNG. And um, I'm here today as an influencer, and I also have experience working as a virtual assistant with some few companies in the UK before I decided to create my own company. Okay, um, today we're talking about influencing. Okay, um, I'm just going to tell you my own story about how I started okay first of all if you are going to go into influencing there must be an objective there must be a set goal and that's what i did because i was trying to fill in the gap for something i for one i'm someone that always uses the internet for almost everything that's where i search for almost everything that i have or that i get to buy and um i shopped a lot and I was always buying things from Lagos and one day I'm like, oh, I think these things are here in Potakot and I don't know why I'm not seeing them, but I think I need to do something about it. So I came up with the idea of women in Potakot and I started looking out for businesses that are in Potakot that people don't even know about. And I started posting about those businesses and um, along the line, I noticed that people were in sync with what I was doing. Like, day two, were tired of paying the extra charges. After paying for the item that you want, you pay an extra 2K, 3.5 to get it shipped to you from Lagos or maybe Abuja. So, um, everybody, I was getting massive support um, from people and you know, people start coming to me. Oh, I'm looking for this in Potakot. Where can I get this in Potakot? And vendors start springing up. And I don't know, that was how everything started. And I was getting good response from people. People wanted me to talk about their products because, you know, when I get to talk about your product, there's this kind of endorsement. And people come to you and like, oh, uh, women, I, I saw your page on women in Potakot or women in Potakot has already endorsed you. I want something. And the good thing about this whole thing that I came up with is we actually encourage people to patronize our vendors in Potakot. Yes, even me too. Um, I know if I used to shop 80% from Lagos, I know now maybe it's just 20% now or 10%. And I know it's like that for most of us. Now people can source for items here in Potakot without having to travel to Lagos, Aba, and the rest of them. So um, that's the um, aspect uh, that my brand decided to fill in the gap for people in Potakot. So um, that's what I do. And... Um, it's a profitable one because um, when people want you to talk about their business, they get to pay you for your services, either in cash or in kind. And um, so for anyone that really wants to do this, first of all, I'll tell you, you have to, you have to be serious. You have to be consistent. You must be passionate about it because if there's anything that has kept me till this time, it's the passion about um, what I'm doing. Um, 
you know um you when you're doing something when there's time to expand you really need to notice that because um i see some people doing businesses and you know you're getting so much inflow you know people are coming you are you're getting too many clients and just because you want the money just for yourself you understand you don't want to get extra hands you, you're not ready to pay anybody even if you want to pay you want to bring out peanuts and before you know it you're changing staff changing staff and all that so um you know that's what we all pray for when we start our businesses oh god increase my capacity and now god is increasing your capacity and you do not want to help yourself so um when i noticed that um things were getting out of hands like you know from the uh family i need to focus on the family i need to focus on what i'm doing i decided to get extra hands i have two assistants there um assisting me um answering people's requests uh doing their adverts and the rest of them and that's why women in Court is still standing till today because i noticed on time like oh only we cannot do all this thing you get that's one thing too i need you to understand in business and it's making me make more money than if i have to be the only one that i'll have people complaining oh uh you're not replying my dms on time or maybe i'll take two days because there are some mornings you i wake up and i wake up to like 200 messages where do i start from you understand but you know i i i decided to increase my capacity so i got extra hands so when people ask me how do you cope with family you're posting because in a week we get to post like almost 300 posts in a week and people say how do you do it so this is how i do it so um that's my little advice for anyone when it's time to increase your capacity please take note and get to action thank you All right. So, um, good luck. Uh, we take the next, the next uh, round. Let's make it as brief as possible. So, good luck. We take the next round. So My name is Good Luck, and somewhere now. Oh boy. <laughs> good luck. Yeah. Good luck. We take the next round. So, he's going to tell us about how to grow our brand with influential marketing or paid ads. Before the questions start coming in, then the audience too. Please jot down things they throw on the table. You can't just come here like this and not ask the question. So all your questions should be loaded. They are ready for you. And get your question down. And your experience too. You can also share your story. I will share mine too. You can also share your story. This is an avenue to sell yourself. You can also share your story. Thank you. So over to you. All right. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Good Luck Azumena. Um CEO of Port Harcourt to the World. Um, basically, if I'm to follow the topic, I wouldn't spend so much time talking about my own brand. So I will do that briefly because this man has mothered us a little. So let me correct it. We are not the only ones um, trying to change the Potaka story. There are a lot of people doing it. Beautiful people seated, seated beside me are doing it also. Please let's put our hands together for them. They are doing the same thing. Just that we have the name that looks like it's an umbrella for everybody. And we're all pushing Potaka to the world positively. As long as you're pushing Potaka, as long as you're pushing the right story, you're all doing the whole pot how the world thing basically and what we were trying to do according to what he said we're trying to we're attempting the guinness world record for the longest fashion runway in the world three kilometers sir not five, not five. Oh. people my cannot bad, track five bad, kilometers five. <laughs> three kilometers the country holding it right now three. three the country holding it right now um, is belgium they did it 2.3 kilometers about five years ago and um, China attempted and failed, but we would attempt it and would succeed. They, it's a very big project, so we've not been able to achieve it, but we're working towards it, and when it's time, you all know about it. So um, that's that for that. Thank you. Um, how we can um, grow our brand via influence, uh, influencer marketing. In once upon a time, we had what they call the whole celebrity um, endorsements and that. That was the only kind of um, influencer marketing we had in this country. But right now, you would admit that a lot of um, companies are tilting towards actual influencers. And that brings us to the types of influencers we have. Or oh, Before I do that, I'll say, who is an influencer? An influencer is somebody that uh, impacts above average of a particular niche. Okay, so we have influencers in fashion, influencers in food, influencers in um, events, influencers in different um, perspectives. And um, what brands do basically these days is, is that, uh, or what we advise brands to do, is that the fact that a particular 
influencer has a million followers doesn't mean they are the right influencer to promote your product okay everybody has their target audience eg ebuka of big brother ebuka is quite is, a, is an influencer he's like one of the most stylish men we have in, in nigeria but um advertising your cooking seasoning on ebuka's page you would kind of miss your target audience well i'm sure you want to do that in women in port harcourt because that's where women gather but she doesn't have as much followers as he does but she's the right influencer for that purpose okay so it's important now talking about paid ads um paid ads generally it works but people like to um, be people like to be part of what they can connect with personally so that's why you like um i call it the power of repetition that's why when you have a song you don't really like the fact that you go here you hear it you go here you hear it you go here you hear it you start singing and dancing that's how marketing works you know the fact that you just saw a b-board at water lines and you enter the taxi and you saw a sticker there and the radio is saying the same thing even if it doesn't make sense start making sense and so people like what they can relate with personally that's why influencers using influencers for your adverts are very important because these influencers engage their audience directly you understand so if i see something on twitter if i go on twitter and i see people i like people i follow talking about a particular thing i pick interest it's beyond what generally trends is about who is talking about it okay so now we have them um, types of influencers we have the celebrity influencers the tiwa savage those people are involuntarily popular they're popular because of what they do they are just popular so they have millions of followers and uh, we have um, the macro um the min the medium and the mini based on um, analysis they say the if you have between 1000 to 50000 followers you are mini if you have be above 50000 to 200000 you are medium then 200000 to 1 million some figures we have not yet achieved based on where we are right now but everything is what what we're talking about and here back here in port harcourt we have a lot of brands that based on the international standards of um macro influencers we may not have gotten there but based on our space i'm sure we have a lot of macro and super super um great influencers here so i would like to talk and say businesses okay let me let me let me go to this a little i advise yes thank you i advise somebody someone was talking about i was talking about marketing to somebody he said my company does not need advert we're already popular and i was like uncle even google advertises so who are you so generally i'm trying to say we need to patronize as much influence as we have in our immediate environment and by god's grace everything will be fine thank you very much okay good everyone my name is otonye chidera i manage believer.com actually let me just uh share a little story how i started i actually i started as, as a blogger but not uh with the mindset of making money i started it as a passion you know i i started in 4th september 2014. so i started writing about churches any church i see around i will write about the church and put it up there people will be sharing you know there was a time in 2017 i wrote about particular two churches in port Harcourt, two of them they were having that uh, clash so i wrote about them so they uh, the tr one of them threatened with uh, lawsuits they, they actually served me the paper but we had to settle it out uh, out of the court so i started as passion start growing my brand then start growing making letting people know what i do online and then in 2016 to precise i think november 2016 on um, uh, somebody called me and asked me are you the owner of this thing i said yes okay that there's something i want you to do for me i said okay what, do you, what was that i told the person the person explained everything i even charged the person small money but at the long run i discovered that wow this person this person have got me you know because i don't i didn't mean making money i was having it as passion though the person opened my eyes that person is in lagos so and over years we have been striving online to make sure especially particles we put it in the map like my brother and my sister here we have been doing 
we put Potakot in, uh, um, in the map in a right way, in a positive way, trashing the posi uh, negative uh, things. But it has not been easy. So uh, basically, what we do is to make sure we, we write about churches and events as, as well in, in Potakot. Especially, we are, we are my target now is just in events, writing events about events that's in review. I have, I have somebody already that's doing that now for me, that's working with me. I have somebody that also that can be writing about churches because I don't have more time again. I'm I'm working. Logging is not my my major work. I'm also working. I have work, day work I'm doing. So I have people that are putting things out there for me now. What I'm trying to say is that log, uh, this influencing work is very important for brands. You know, as my brother rightly said, brands now look for people to push out their work. As a brand, a brand that can a brand cannot do that alone. You know, the other day, even yesterday, MTN paid influencers, and influencers were trending their products online. And this morning, one of the company is trending as well. So what it means is that everybody needs to embrace imp influencers to push out. You know, when an influencer push out your, your product online, you know, because the influencer have, uh, depending on the capacity, that person has people that are following, people that are loyal to him or her. So when the person is pushing out your, your brand, it's, it's bringing that loyalty because it will make the people, the followers of this person to know that, wow, this brand is genuine. You know, we have many brands around that are not genuine. People will come up with something one day and then they want it to trend online. But when it, if they are doing it on their own, I know one that happened last December and that one failed because it was not genuine, it was a, a, a scam. You know, and they tried to use influencers, but we discovered that it was a scam. So it's, a, it's very important we, we embrace influence, influencers. In, embrace social media to actually push our brand and make our brand uh, to be known. And I know that as we are doing it, we are going to get good, good results. Thank you. All right, put your hands together for him. So coming up right now is uh, Mr. Owen Jen Shedrack. Mr. Owen Jen Shedrack. This is the man I call the creative content god. This man is going to be a lecturer. I wonder what he's doing in business. Hi. Good morning, everyone. All right, I'm really sorry I'm a bit late. I had issues with my health, so. I needed to dash to a pharmacy so I could take medication. All right, I don't know. Uh, you've heard from most of the people giving their insights from the angle of the influencer. So I would like to share from the angle of a business. All right, so uh, whether you like it or not, anything you have to do that demands you to put money or expect money from somebody, you have to consider it as a cost. Uh, you also hope that for every company cost, there's also ROI at the end of the table. All right, so um, briefly what I would like to say, I would like to uh, give an overview. I'd like to talk about what influencer marketing is, professionally as a business, and then uh, some of the advantages you may consider as a business, as well as uh, the types of influencer marketing strategies you should always try to leverage, and then a few scenario and how you can put it to work. All right, so influencer marketing, basically, I know you may have heard of uh, a few insights. Influencer marketing is actually a, a trending marketing strategy whereby you have to leverage uh, people who are uh, having authority for niche sites, uh, who are celebrities, who are bloggers, who are 
new media experts, professionals with some kind of authority in a way. Okay, the idea is to make sure that you reach out to your target customers as wide as that audience can be on the spot where they are hanging out. All right, so why is it necessary or why is it important? The truth is that it is one of the most authentic kind of marketing strategy you may think about. The reason is because uh, if you have somebody who is an expert in finance and you know recently information has been so democratized that people are looking for every platform and medium to get inside to whatever their career goal is so somebody is talking about finance every day and it, the person has a wide range of followership so it is believed that if you want to sell your financial service instead of uh, joining the bandwagon of shouting out come and uh, maybe save with our app come and do this with our app come and do that with our app it may have a more viable voice if you reach out to somebody who is a financial expert not just by career but speaks to people and has authentic followership so what the person will do now is to say okay yeah irrespective of everything i'm telling you you can leverage this app to be more uh, 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 financial savvy. All right, then again, it's actually more a, a cost-effective way to reach out to people with their voice. If you are a business and you are running ads, the truth is that you are only going to, you are limited to your, to your brand voice. But this time around, you use the voice of the influencers, which is more, more viable. And then again, let me briefly uh, state the strategies. I know there are other relevant benefits of because of time. Let me state the strategies you leverage on. There are basically three. One of it is a uh, takeover campaign. And another is uh, a partnership, con uh, content partnership. And the third one, which is last, is actually uh, paid content. Uh, maybe if I will have time later, I'll make throw some light on it. But basically what takeover campaign means is that Facebook, for instance, pay a lot of influencer to put up their product, especially when they started their Facebook, uh, their Facebook video product. They paid influencers who are public figures and especially content creators online to do videos that people could connect with in fitness, entertainment and all that. Facebook actually leverage uh, those their content, especially giving them more publicity. But what they did was to show what facebook video was then secondly uh, the idea of the paid partnership is uh, sorry content partnership is for instance you are joining two businesses you know that this business has some kind of leverage you also have a different leverage you come together and push up a content with the goal of expecting let's say you ha you have wider reach and a possibly return on investment uh, lastly paid content uh, the truth is that this is actually one of the most leveraged influencer marketing strategy where you pay a blogger to put up something and all that but the idea behind influencer marketing i would like to state that it comes with a plan a strategy a, a pitch to look out for possible influencer that meet your marketing goals so you should never try to leverage influencer marketing if you don't have a plan if you don't have a marketing goal if you don't have to <laughs> all right so i'm um, sorry i'm out of time so thank you very much Welcome back. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, our discussion for putting this uh, information together for us. I hope you are, you are, you are, you are following. I hope you are you're getting the best, right? I want to hear you talk. I hope you are getting the best. Yeah. Now, prepare a question because I want you to bombard them with questions. 
Now, before before we go into the question and answer section, I want to chip in one of I want to I want to add my own contribution to the whole thing. Now, I always I, I post something on my WhatsApp story. I woke up this morning, some things just came in. I post something on my WhatsApp story. Say, Business does not expand with friends and family alone. Who agrees to that? With referrals alone. Help me share. I beg. Sister, help me post. I hope you know that there is it's not a predictable way of growing a business. So that means there is there, there are some principles that business can actually expand with. I will make. So how do you expand your business predictably? If there is no predictable way of you doing something, you can't give you can't you can't tell somebody to come and invest. For investors to give us money in our business, you have to show them real statistics, real story of how your brand can actually make their money, how your business can actually make some money. Now, the number one thing that everybody in business is looking for is what? Profit. profit. Again, what? Profit. Another thing. What does profit mean? More money. Abi? More money. Second thing is what brought, what, what brings more money? More customer. Abi? Forget it. If you're a bad salesman, all you need is a good traffic, a good pipeline. Even though you don't you don't know how to sell. Imagine one million persons to reach out to your business and you're able to sell 0.2% of those one million every day. I see the predictability now. So how do you get this new customer? These are the people that can help you. You're selling hair. Who wears hair? Women. Who are the people that if you go to our page, check the, go and check our last post. We posted it like 30 minutes ago. Go and check. Open women in Kotako. Check our last post. You want to sell that hair? Who do you think you give to help you to sell it? Your friends and family, they might not be here. But the people, your friends and family have bought your hair like three times. They will not buy again. They don't tire. So you need to go and look for new people. And the new people you are looking for in, in a, on, on a platform. You want to push your event. Your friends and family are push, 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 push. They are not, it's not coming out. This is the person that push your event. You reach out to him. So, bros, how far this thing will be? Most times you are so engrossed with the money. Please, time me, please. Time me. Most of us are so engrossed with the money we spend. We are not, we are not thinking about the money we get. If you can predict that, if you reach one million person, so much people. Do you know that? How many of you how many of you are aware that there is like 1.2 million people on Facebook that are active on Facebook? Every day they are logging on Facebook. How many of you know that know of that statistics? How many of you know that Instagram has 270,000 persons active on Instagram from Portacot alone? Imagine you pushing your brand to those 270,000 persons every week. You say, I don't have the money to, to push your brand to 270,000 persons on Instagram. No, you, let's not do 1.2 million on Facebook. Let's go for 270,000. Oh, it's even less than 270,000. If you choose the age, I can give you the statistics. If you choose the age between 18 to 45, it's less than 200,000. And you know that Instagram has quality leads. How many of you can agree to that? Why? Don't tell me why. Anybody that uses Instagram have money. You spend money for data. Yes. So that means that person actually have 2,000 in a month. You spend more than 2,000. If you're constantly, I'm telling you that there are 200 and something thou, thousand person active on Instagram. And those are the people that have the money you're looking for. And you can't spend a thousand naira every week on paid ad. Or you can't spend 5,000 to give to any of these people to help you push it. And you are still looking for me. You are still praying. There's nothing wrong with that. Miracle happens, but the only predictable way a business can grow is to grow more customer base. And how do you grow it? Paid adverts and influencer marketing. When I want to pull an event, I gave this guy some money. He's my friend, but I still paid him. Why? Because I want to hold him accountable. I reached out to him. I said, you send me a, a, a data, a, a cost of, I did that. I did not pay. I did, send me the cost of how much, please. Send me the, send me the cost how much you take to to promote a particular brand on your platform. He gave me a list. I studied. This person, if you want to drive traffic of women, I'm not saying you're a woman, either. please. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is this. Now, this guy has lots of info because he has been involved. No, he has been involved in a lot of things. So, and it's a fine young man, can't you see? So, if you want to drive traffic in this portal court, and he's not posting your stuff. There's a time I disturb you and say, post this thing for me because the people I'm looking for are following you. If you post it, there is no way they will not follow you. They will not follow you to come. He said, no, you can't post it because I'm not clear. 
I said, hey, God, I have to make sure it's clear before I did it. Have you? So most times we are so engrossed in ourselves that we don't want, we don't want to spend money. We don't want to spend. I'm looking for money. The only way to get this money is to get a new customer. And the only way to get this new customer is to invest in paid ad and influencer marketing. Are you with me? Am I making sense? So put your hands together for me now. <laughs> Thank you. So we are going to take a couple of questions. Anybody have contribution already before we move on? Anybody have a contribution before we start throwing them questions? Contribution. Okay. Contribution. Okay. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Augustine Chukwomezuma. I'm popularly known online as Mazi Chuma because of the content I promote, the evil content. <laughs> like, my greeting goes, Nde Oni. Well, I've listened to the speakers, and they are wonderful. First, I got something, and that is passion. Because if you're not passionate about what you do, you can actually excel. Passion is one thing that you have to put forth. And I believe that is what will actually bring that money you are looking for. If you are very passionate about what you're doing, you can go extra mile. You can spend sleepless nights just to achieve what you want to do. And I think that is the first thing before we now start talking about the money. Just like what you say, seek it first, and everything will be added. I think that's it. Thank you. 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 Question. 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 Contribution. Question. All right. Um, I have to ask a question. Or, or. Good morning, everyone. My name is Belema Green. Um, I run the Green Company, a training hub for parents, teachers, and um, teen handlers. Okay, um, th there is a time where, regardless of passion, the amazing content that you put out, there's just a time where there's a lull in business. It's almost like no one is, no matter how much paid advert you get, you're not getting the commensurate amount of um, customers like what you put out. For example, I put out a post on um, a training for parents on how to communicate with their teenagers. Everybody's going, oh, great content, amazing. I've pushed it out, I'm giving it to influencers. But yet, there isn't, um, there's no bite. Nobody is really paying. So maybe I have estimated that 150 parents, teachers, or school owners will sign up, done all my paid adverts, done all the calculations, implementations, gone online, gotten statistics, and then there's still that lull. Is there a problem with the marketing? Or is it a problem at directing content? Or is it a problem with generally life? So I would like to know what happens when there is a lull and if you've experienced any of the influencers here if you've experienced that lull in business despite doing i can't say almost all maybe like a large percent wh what do you do then hello okay. right. Ademola is my name good morning everyone yeah, you, you've done all you could. Maybe you've not done enough. Uh, one of the influencers we have this morning talked about consistency. That's uh, the content God. What do you call it? You have to be consistent. That you, pay, di you did a paid advert once does not mean you will have all that you are expecting. You have to be consistent. You have to continue to run it. That's why big brands like Coca-Cola despite the fact that they, they make so much money and they are popular, but they keep on running adverts on almost every platform. Everywhere you go, you see the adverts, on television, on social media, everywhere you go, you see them. You have to continually do it. Even Bible admonishes us that we should be persistent, we should be consistent. So you have to be consistent to get the desired results. Thank you. Any other question? You want to want to say something about this? Oh. Okay. Thank you, my sister. Uh, I want to sorry. Okay, I want to clarify something there. You know, over time people say that they they have spent a no, a, uh, a lot of money, but they are not getting a return, right? Now, 
as a promoter i always tell people that when you pay me money to promote something don't expect return immediately and but uh, it's all about consistency as you rightly said understand when, when you continue doing something you are you are bringing that consciousness into the mind of your of the audience they may not patronize with that particular period but when they see it again you know some human being we don't act sometimes we don't act immediately do you understand we act when we are pushed when you see that okay look at uh airtel is still advertising to today glow is still advertising to today we know them we know the brand but they are still advertising my brother said google is still advertising we uh, no, i don't know who don't know about google but they are still advertising or even on red on television on dstv do you understand so that is the consciousness when you put, continue putting it in the mind of people a time will come they will come understand but when you do something once when you do once people tend to forget, forget that period maybe when you are doing that thing when you put out that thing your audience don't have interest that period do you understand they may not have interest that particular period but when you do it continue doing what you are doing having passion in what you are doing you, mu you must get the return thank you so we have to now we have to keep our question and our, and our conclusion very brief we have just 15 minutes to shut down and we have to keep it on now we have to go ask that question let's know we have to Uh, good morning everyone my name is victor um, um i'm a real estate consultant my brand name is mr white consort okay um based on what she has she has paid done some paid adverts and she's not getting the commensurate uh, response to what she has done and one or two responses was that we are using coca-cola excel and all that as an example but you are not considering people who are just coming up with a brand you don't have that amount of money they spend and you are, you are not treating how we can help us to grow we are relating to coca-cola if i get up to coca-cola i will if i may not even need to do fat and figures i'll just push money there for adverts and be running it so how do we help ourselves as you know yes so that we can get up there when this my guy was talking because of my own type of business i now realize that yeah my business i'm i'm even in trouble now because if i want to pay an influencer who and if i get that person how much am i going to chunk out to invest on that to get the diet i mean all that i want so uh, let's speak to that thank you very much thank you for, uh, uh, remember take remember the essence of this training is to help solopreneur what i mean by solopreneur people that are actually starting from scratch they don't have employee person like me no get employee forget time forget all these suits where i wear forget time i they find money so i'm operating my business based on what what they used to call it i just call uh uh i just call it again they call referral people that helps you volunteers volunteers and apprentices so how do i let me check me now. How do I, that I don't have so much budget, grow my business using influencers and pay her? How do I do it? Okay, um, that's why, you know, before he mentioned it, that's what I really wanted to talk about. You know, when they say social media, there's um, something that comes to mind. You have to still pass your message while being social. You understand? 
you're not following me you we've not had some kind of interaction and you're trying to sell your service or your training or your course to me i don't know i don't, I don't think i'll buy you understand now for someone like you that you've spent money i expect you or i'm advising if there's any platform maybe like mine that we have lots of women with children which is your target market i think you should interact there more you understand because there are some people striving on my page right now and they have never paid me one naira for advert they just come there's a discussion oh they are there someone is looking for this oh they are responding and people are knowing them do you understand so sometimes it's not even about there's this lady so popular on my page sandy's apparel she has not paid me one naira sandy is always there they are looking for this she's ready to uh, um, go source it for someone she's talking she's contributing and people are noticing her you understand that's why you see people go on insta blog people are talking people it, it's not because uh, you can say okay me too i'm too busy those people are busy but they know what they are doing they go there to drop a comment so i think it should be more interactive in forums that you think your target market is so that when when you come and you say oh i know her now ah let me buy her course you understand let there be some kind of relationship so far as we are talking about social media you can't just see some somebody cannot just jump on your page and start buying it doesn't work that way thank you all right um just briefly I, I felt i felt the passion and the pain concern in your voice but i would like to say um basically no adverts no money spent on any advert is ever a waste i talked about the power of repetition okay people keep hearing it i remember when you start up a brand people do not owe you patronage you're not entitled to patronage because you spend money on adverts so you're introducing yourself to people it takes time to so generally i like to say we need to allow children grow Allow your brand grow. Give it time, especially when you don't have all the money in the world. Even if, even if you do, it will not always work immediately. So give it time. Keep investing so as based on your financial capacity. Keep investing, and with time, people get to know you. Thank you very much. Okay, she read your mind. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah, I wrap my mind in that.
Are you? No. Are you good? good. Alright, so quickly, the truth is that if you are thinking about marketing generally, sales is seasonal. You will never have sales January, February, all through December. And that is why you have to leverage seasons and build your your influencer strategy in line with uh, the season secondly i don't know a lot of us just run our business by what we think over the night you should have a marketing plan which means you have to have a cost for marketing and then streamline to the cost of acquisition for every customer you get the truth is that you have to weigh in on how much will you get one customer based on the customer lifetime value? So which means that depending on your influencer marketing strategy, there should be clear goals stated. So you know, if I'm bringing this person on board, what's the person's capacity? How well can I leverage this uh, uh, person to get what I want to do? Let me give you an instance. The truth is that we know uh, one of our popular online influencer, Tasha, truth is that if we have a Potaco brand that sells wristwatch, especially for luxury guys, luxury uh, wristwatches, the truth is that if I'm a brand starting out, if I want to sell more, I can leverage that child's birthday to drive more sales. For instance, buy this watch on, let's say, February 20th, which is that child's birthday, with a discount code of Tatcha. If your watch is 5000 because of you are using Tatcha, you say you can get it 2500 we see this strategy a lot but maybe you you are not paying attention and you don't actually uh, do your groundwork your documentation of a strategy you have to use the truth is that all influencers are not for all businesses if you are selling a training course the truth is that it's going to be difficult to go and sell with influencers who are talking about events if you are selling a finance product the truth is that you may not get traction if you go meet persons who are talking about events. So you have to understand, go online, search based on hashtags, people who are driving engagement and building authority in, in some. So if you are selling clothes, the truth is that you don't need money to give an influencer. You can say, let me be giving you my clothes to wear, just be singing my praises online. Because that is what I can afford. You know, and then again, the truth is that let me just stop. All right, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If we have to do <laughs> this thing today, we'll not leave here. I think the next next tweet too. If I will still beg them, I will still come and kneel down and beg them if they can still come so that we we trash because next week this week we're supposed to be talking about uh, arts and marketing. So next week too is still the art and marketing. Then the last week is the sales part, which is the one of the holy grail of business. So so 
I don't want us to extend our time. We have to shut down right now. So next week, we are still bringing them back. I'll beg. I beg. You want them to come back? Yeah. So I want them to stay. Would you want to come? <laughs> so they are coming back. Put your hands together for them. They are coming back. All right. Please, there is something I want you guys to do before you come back next week. Go to business.facebook.com. Very important. Write it down. Business.facebook.com. Go and register. That thing is not normal Facebook. It's where, they, where your marketing starts when it comes to adverts. When you want to do ads. Some of you will be running from your boost posts. Just register business.facebook.com. Very important. Business.facebook.com. Open your phone. Don't use a, a computer. Use a computer. Don't use your phone. There's a lot of things there. Uh -huh. So that now, consistency, as they say. Now, now, let's shut down. Consistency, they say. That is a, another holy grail. People buy from you because they know you, because they believe you, because they trust you. How will I trust you if I'm just seeing you for the first time with these karma activities online? So it's very difficult. So most of us, if you are putting your money in ads, you just want to. Somebody tell me, say, I want, I want to do an ad of 20, I want to sell product of 20,000. I want to do an ad of 1,000 naira for two weeks. And you're expecting somebody to buy. It takes a miracle. So, but if you put out 1,000 naira, you can put a 1,000 naira for two weeks. It doesn't disturb anything. But it gives you that brand visibility first. People should see you consistently. Have a target to reach the 220,000 persons on Instagram. That is my target. Before the end of this month, I want to hit the whole 220,000 with this training. Yeah, what you are doing now, we will hit everybody. So I don't have that money right now, but I'm putting it little by little by little. So it's consistently. Thank you for those of you that are watching online. Join us next week as we dive into this topic more. Next week, I want us to be. I want to talk. Which one is better, paid ad or sponsored ad? I wanted to ask them that question, but we don't have time anymore. So next week, I will go and prepare and come because I, some people came here to fire you question, but thank God the time has gone. So next week. <laughs> Next week, <laughs> we'll do this one. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.